Welcome to Luxon Photography and to a Photokina edition. I went to Cologne to the world's biggest photography convention and spent a day there. And now I just want to give you an insight and just how I spend my day. Just for the case, if you like to go there next year, it's going to be there in half a year, so it's not so long. Maybe you can take some uh, stuff from my experience so, uh, so you can profit from it. So I went there and the first thing I saw was the Canon stand. Canon had a big, made a big impression. You got in there, I mean there were different entrances, but where I went into, there was the Canon stand. And they had, I think, over 20, maybe 20 to 30 EOS R cameras right there for you to play with. And so that is the new Canon mirrorless camera. Everybody was waiting for it. When is Canon going to join the mirrorless system, the future of photography. And now Canon have finally made a serious attempt with the EOS R, new lenses, new mount, new system, and you could test it right there. So I played with it about for, I think, 20 minutes with the 28 millimeter to 70 millimeter zoom lens f2.0, constantly aperture, co constant aperture. <laughs> And the lens is very, very heavy and the 50 millimeters also very heavy. And I think that is something that I don't really like about the mirrorless system. You do it to have it all smaller, but then the lenses are so big that it's even bigger than... I, ha I, I had the 85 millimeter lens f1.2 with me on the 60 Mark II. The pictures that you see that I post here now, 60 Mark II, 85 1.2, or with the old T2i Canon 550D with a wide angle lens, 10 to 18 millimeter. These cameras I had with me. And the zoom lens is, it's even, uh, it weighs more than the 85 millimeter lens, which is so heavy. It was so annoying to have the camera in my bag with the heavy lens, because if you walk around the whole day, I don't like it. I don't take the 85 out often. It's a great lens, but it's too heavy and I don't like to carry it around when I walk for hours. And the mirrorless system from Canon has the 35 millimeter lens, which is a small lens, which is really nice. But the other lenses are big and heavy. And I mean, the lenses are really good, but it's big and heavy. And I prefer small and light to big and heavy. <laughs> okay, so how was the EOS R? Just to give you just an idea. The body was different from all the other Canon bodies, a different button placement. You were trying to get to somewhere and there was no button for it. But they also added new buttons, which worked really nice. And one, one thing, for example, you can look through the electronic viewfinder. So you see a monitor and all the changes you do, you see in real time and you can focus with your finger. So you look through the viewfinder, but on the screen you can touch and select the autofocus point so you don't have to use a joystick. Um, just from the, the body feels different but, but working with the camera actually feels like working with the Canon 60 Mark II. I took some pictures there. All the brands have some stages there where you can test their best cameras like the EOS R. Sony had the Sony a7 III, Sony a7 R3 and Sony a9 and then you had a stage where people were dancing and making some special things. And you can photograph that with the best cameras from the brands. And I photographed with the 85 millimeter on the 60 Mark II, there was a girl dancing. And then I photographed the same with the EOS R. And because the flip out screen on the, on the, on the 60 Mark II and on the EOS R feels the same, and the autofocus feels the same, Working with the EOS R really felt like using the 60 Mark II, from my experience. Not the body, but working with it. And the images look very similar. And so, you know, the question is, what do I need? I need actually just one autofocus point, the center point, and I, I'm still using the Canon 60 Mark I. I use it now for over, I've, I've shot over 1 million images, only with the 60 Mark I. I have two of them. 1,100,000 images with these two 60 Mark 1s and I still use it as my main wedding camera. 
I have the Canon 6D Mark II, but I don't need it. And so to me, a new camera, the only thing that's interesting now is medium format. All the full frame cameras, Sony A7 series, Nikon Z6 or 7, Panasonic S1R, Canon EOS R, that is all the same to me. There are small differences. If you do video, there are bigger differences, but photography wise, the differences are so minor that I think the 6D Mark I that I still use for five years now, there is no big difference in the final image for what I'm doing. Weddings, street portraits, real estate. That's just my opinion. Now, what is great about the Photokina that all the brands, Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, Hasselblad, they all have their representatives there, not just from the company, but also the photographers. So when I was at the Canon stand and I tested the EOS R, on the other side, there was a stage where Canon ambassadors talk about using the Canon cameras and about their photography. So when I was there, Brent Sturton was talking about using the EOS R in Namibia. And he's a photographer who usually only does National Geographic, mostly works for National Geographic. So it's a big, a big photographer. And he is right there in front of you. He gives you his experience and afterwards you can talk to him and ask him. And it's, that is something really incredible. All, many, many of the world's biggest names in photography are there and you can talk to them, you can touch them, you can shake their hand, say, this is me, give me one tip. <laughs> then I went to the Nikon stand, where also there was a talk from Jamari Lior. I will show you some images that I took of the big screen of the presentation, and you see the, the beauty of the images, what she does. And when you see her and the images, you think, oh, it's a girl in a dreamy world, everything is nice, beautiful, but she's actually, <laughs> She has a university degree um, in social science and she told stories about her images and many images she has a very very deep story behind it on an academic level. Not this is a girl sitting here looking beautiful but she was talking about the struggle between group A and group B and this image was the expression of the struggle. So a very deep, thoughtful person and uh, it was very interesting to listen to her. Very beautiful images. She used the Nikon Z7. <laughs> then I found the Hasselblad stand and there was also a talk from Ali Raj Rajab or Rajib. And he was talking about his projects with working, working with the Hasselblad cameras, big medium format sensors, print them, can print them very, very largely. I tested some lenses like the Erix 11 mm 50 mm I wanted to see if I can, could use them for vlogging, but without autofocus, it's not so, it's not so right. But you see 11 mm I hold the camera like this and with 11 millimeters, my face is very small. You see everything around me. So it's a very, very nice lens for architecture photography, for photographing rooms, buildings, interiors, even for weddings, I think, but it's manual only. One person asked me to interview me, uh, who has a photo photography podcast, Tom Maurer, and uh, it's in German and we met and he interviewed me. It was really nice, but I don't think it's, it's interesting for you because it's only German. There's no video, just audio, so I will just skip that. What was also interesting, I mean, there were German photographers that I really liked that were just there, like the Steel Pirat, uh, Steffen Böttcher. I was just walking around the Sony stand and there was he shooting a couple and giving a talk, how to photograph couples, you know, sensual, love and telling a story. And he's a Sony ambassador. He has, he's a Sony representative a photographer who shoots Sony. Now some, there were some other people that gave talks and um, this is something that I think for the next time I go there is better to prepare. So who do I really want to meet? where are they talking at which time on which stage the convention was so big that on one day i couldn't see everything what really was interesting besides seeing the big names just right in front of me giving a talk and then being able to ask them questions right there what was also interesting was to see the accessory area so there were many companies that had prints 
large prints, different materials, and you could see them, okay, this is an image printed on this material, the same image printed on that material, then the same image on this, and then you could see which one do I like most, where, how, how do the images differ, what's about the color difference, and the, the look, what about the price, how much is this, you can ask that all. And the lightning, you know, not every city has a big photography store where you have many lightning solutions, like brands like Broncolor, Profoto, uh, or even the, the, the cheaper ones, Godox. Um, there are not, where I live, there are not many shops where you can actually touch photography gear like this. You have to go to a big city like Hamburg, Cologne, Berlin, there you can find it, but not here. So you had all the brands there. You could see all the lightning stuff from the flashes to the modifiers. You can ask anything, you know, does this work for this camera that I use? Maybe Fuji, Sony, Canon, Hasselblad. What do I need? Is there a battery or do I need to have uh, electricity anywhere? That was really nice. Um, some other stuff, Sigma had all their lenses there. They had a 40 millimeter 1.4, which I didn't even know exist. A 28 millimeter 1.4, which is new. The 105 millimeter 1.4, which is so big. A Zenit M Len a camera, which is a cooperation with Leica, also was there. I tried the Fuji GFX 50R, which is a medium format camera from Fuji. It's the same as the 50S, which was released one and a half years ago, but it's smaller. It's really, really small. It's a nice format. It's the same image quality as the big camera, which is great, great quality. It's a, a cheaper price tag, about around 4,000 something euros, which is really great. Medium format is getting to a level where it, 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 it rivals or even surpasses full frame f cameras. So the Fuji GFX 50R is cheaper than the 1DX Mark II from Canon. And that is crazy because it's medium format and a couple of years ago, medium format did cost always over 10,000, sometimes over 20,000. And even to this day, the Hasselblad H60, the 400 multi-shot version, you will have to pay over 40,000, nearly 50,000 euros to get it. So 4,000 for a medium format camera with 50 megapixel is an incredible price tag. Okay, so, that was the experience from Cologne, from the Fotokina. The next day, which was yesterday, I went to Düsseldorf, which is very close to Cologne, and did street photography on the streets. And maybe just to, so you think about it, I used the Canon 6D Mark II on the streets with the 85mm 1.2 lens that's filming now, shot at f1.2 mostly, sometimes f1.4 all with the live view autofocus. So I didn't have to care about autofocus. I did not select any autofocus point. The camera chose automatically the face, automatically. I just held the camera in one hand, click, 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 and the face was in focus. In another hand, I had another Canon DSLR filming me. So it's incredible how this dual pixel AF works in live view. And I will show you the images without any editing JPEG straight from the camera. I have done nothing to it. I took them yesterday. I came back last night. Now it's Saturday morning. I'm going to a wedding in two hours. I will try to get the video done, maybe on Sunday, tomorrow. So, uh, and because I filmed, now usually I photograph people on the streets like this. They can buy the images and I just upload the images when I come home. I don't edit them. Sometimes yes, but often I don't have to. Look at these images that I'm showing you. Um, these are all unedited straight from the camera JPEG. They can buy the images. And because I filmed it now, I give them all the images for free and I can show you these images. I can use them for myself. If I don't film it, I don't show any images. I just make money with it. And I like it to do it more for free. That's what I love to do. But when I want to make more money, then I sell the images to the people. Usually I photograph 15 shootings a day. On that day, yesterday, I think we got 10, 11 shootings, but we stopped at three o'clock uh, after three o'clock during the day. And then I went back to uh, home here. So that was my experience from the Fotokina. I will leave you now with some images straight from the camera on the streets, people that I don't know, 
but they agreed to have a photo shoot right there where I met them. So have fun.